Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's about 9.30. And uh, today I'm just working around the house. I'm just, uh, I'm just actually going to get working on the baseboards in my wife's uh, dressing room there. And But I thought I, I had better try and redo this video for... I wanted to do a bit of a questioning 101 video. Not that I know anything better than anybody, but uh, you know, about 10 years ago, I started going through what I see a lot of people going through now, uh, because of course I I see I see the comments on social media shifting, and what I mean by that is. You know, in the past, even, even you know, uh, 15 years ago or whatever, I would be on social media and uh, I would be making fun of people questioning the flat earth and I would be making fun of people questioning the war and all of this other stuff. So, anyways, here we are. It's now, you know, years later, I think something completely different. And the majority of comments that you see on social media have gone from you're stupid and you're an idiot to either not hardly even being there at all to can you explain this more or uh, people have come uh, onto my social media and commented that they have started recently looking into the world around them and uh, this is awesome. And, you know, I just want to, I want to try to be a part of something positive. Uh, you know, I guess all of this is, is so important for me because of the way I was raised and the life that I had growing up. And I did end up having a very negative impact on the world uh, in my younger years. And not that I'm any smarter or any better, I just want to share... Uh, you know, what worked for me so that hopefully I can even just help one person. So, are you questioning the world around you? You should be questioning the world around you. And yes, I have notes. This is, this is actually the first scripted YouTube video that I've done, but it's important enough that I think it needs to be. Uh, anyways, if you've started down this road of starting to wonder what's going on around you, you have to do this and you have to keep going, uh, not only for yourself and your family, but for everybody, uh, because of course, if you take the red pill and go down this road, uh, you will figure out that we're all connected and... Uh, you will realize some some pretty major things and you can really you know change your conscious awareness there and you can really change your life and and, and change what you're experiencing uh, however this is where we get to questioning 101 and my big white dry erase board if you've ever watched this channel before you know you've seen me uh, uh, with math on here, you've seen me question the sun, you've seen me question gravity, there's pictures and math and notes, and and this is the most important part of the whole process. I guess it's a combination, but, but I guess this part of it, so writing it down, uh, writing it down is important, uh, but also keeping it to yourself at this particular juncture, uh, you have to consider that society is at a place now where if you're just beginning this journey, I would strongly suggest that you keep that to yourself. Um, if you, now here, this is where society is at. Um, if you start questioning the world around you, uh, friends and family will turn their backs on you. Uh, you may very well lose your job. You will be attacked on social media. Uh, um, the comments, they are changing, but you know what? You will be attacked. Um, you know, it's been a long time that I've been at this, and 
you know, the math and the physics and the research, uh, you know, it does prove, you know, the world around us is easily proven. Uh, the world around us is not easily accepted. So uh, this, is where, this is where the problem is, is that we have been told over and over and over so many times in so many places that we believe that, that what they tell us is true, even though when you go and start digging, you cannot find proof of, I mean, you can find the information that they tell us, but you cannot find the proof. And this is where things get hard, and this is where this gets important. So, you must have your notes. Um, ten years later, uh, I still have to refer to my notes, and I do refer to my notes. I have a huge box. I have thousands of pages of notes. Uh, there's, there's just so much information that uh, you would never remember it all, and you need to remember it all so that you can put it together. So... Uh, this is what worked for me. And, you know, how I started it, I started it as, you know, what, what am I questioning? Now, for me, this journey started with divorce. And the reason it started with divorce for me is obviously uh, I went by, I actually also went through a divorce uh, when I was 12 years old. My parents uh, divorced. I was one of the first, you know, it was 1983 when my parents divorced. You know, the divorce rate back then was, I think if you check and see, this is why we write it down. I have it written down on a piece of paper in that box. But, you know, back then it's like 3% and you know, now it's over 50%, and that ought to tell you something. But, but this journey for me started with divorce, and for you it may start somewhere different. And this is the big thing, is we're all in this together, but we all go through this in different ways, and we all start out at different places. So, uh, so for me, you know, it started out, what am I questioning? Well, at the time it was divorce. Uh... However, today, it would be gravity, right? It would be uh, flat earth. It would be war. And then you would have to take each of these, you know, and, you know, break it down into subcategories or subheadings or... You know, and you have to break this down, and none of this is done by your opinion. Uh, you don't look at this and go, oh, what do I think about gravity? Uh, you, don't, you don't do this at all, and you know, this is why we do this. We also do this because when we write things out, there's a connection, you know, between writing it out and our head where we think and our heart where we feel. So when you write this out, uh, very quickly you're going to start looking at things and you're going to realize this is just my opinion and writing it down helps, well at least it helps me to stay honest. Uh, and you know this is important that we are honest and we you know we got to keep things factual. So uh, say, for example, you're questioning gravity. Uh, it could be war, it could be taxes, it could be anything, but um, because this is what I'm working on now, let me use gravity. I would then be able to write out that I have 17 red flags. If I don't write out the 17 red flags so that I can see them, you know, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget all of those ones by the time I get to the last four. And I'm not going to realize, holy cow, there are 17 things about gravity that either make no sense at all, or they make maybe a little bit of sense but only if you don't question it. 
And there are. Uh, now I've started uh, typing up a paper that I'm working on and I'm only up to number 14. Uh, but for those of you who have not watched any of the videos that I did questioning gravity, you can go back and watch those videos where I question gravity. And you can see that we have over a dozen red flags talking about something that they tell us is real and it exists. And you know, people lecture on gravity and people have jobs based on gravity and there's professors at university whose, you know, their whole existence is based on gravity and gravity. These 17 questions lead to hundreds of other questions and uh, how is something that they tell us is real? How, how is this supposed to make any sense? Because of course, if you're dealing with the truth, if you're dealing with the truth, then you don't, uh, you don't have red flags. You don't ever have red flags uh, when you're dealing with something with, uh, when it's the truth. You know, uh, if we talk about density and buoyancy, which we have to while we're talking about gravity, uh, density and buoyancy, they just do, they just do what they do and, and they do what we're told they do and they work the way that it's explained. And density and buoyancy, they just, they just do what they do and there's no red flags and, and everything makes, you know, perfect sense and it all works out, you know, and, uh, yet when you question gravity, you know, how, you know, you can write out that gravity, makes water go against uh, its characteristic. Uh, gravity, gravity makes water go against its characteristic of finding its level. Um, somehow gravity makes water stick to the outside of a ball, yet we cannot repeat that in any capacity. So you would want to write that down. Uh, experiment is not repeatable. And you have to be able to go back and refer to these notes because, and I'm going to tell you something, uh, some of this is not believable. And some of what they've told us is to the point where you don't even understand it, you have to write it down so that you can just stare at it and go, holy crap, they actually tell us this stuff. Uh, another, re uh, another reason why we write it down and draw it out. Uh, now, I don't know what your questions start out with. Maybe your questions start out as, you know, why is there war? And you go on to, you know, why do they vaccinate us? Uh, you know, for me, uh, I was at the sun, but I wrote it down and I wrote out all the things that they tell us, you know, I wrote out, they tell us it's 93 million miles away. I wrote out that, you know, it's 109 times the diameter of our home. I wrote out that it's 107 times the you know, the distance of our diameter away, I wrote out all these things so that I could go back and look at them. And you need to write these things out, whether it's on a dry erase board or a piece of paper, and you need to do this so that you can see that it doesn't make any sense. And you need to do this without telling anybody so that nobody turns their back on you because your friends and family are going to turn their back on you. Uh, and the reason that they're going to turn their back on you is because if you start questioning things, then you see your friends and family are exposed to you. And by you taking a step forward, uh, they then have to start looking at themselves. And they don't want that. Nobody wants this. Uh... 
And don't listen to anyone, uh, and certainly don't listen to me. Uh, anything that you hear said on this YouTube channel, please go and research it for yourself and see that I am uh, I'm accurate. Uh, none of this information is mine. All of the information that I share on this channel has come from other sources, uh, people who are far smarter than I am. Uh, I just simply took the time to read. Um, you know, they did the hard work. I, I just came along and, and read what they had to say. Uh, when I needed to, of course, I confirmed what they were saying. Uh, and I have learned to go on and do experiments, like, for example, the sun. Uh, you know, uh, here's, you know, here's this huge sun. Here's our little tiny home in comparison. And you know what? I, I took the numbers that they give us and I drew it out and I measured it out in my house. And three inches from the wall at the end of the hallway, uh, 30, 37 and a half inches down to here, except the sun is 40 feet tall. So of course, you know, little earth here, uh, you know what? The sun is going to look huge, yet when we watch the sun, now they tell us, don't ever look at the sun. Uh, but I, I don't, you know what? I, one day I just looked at the sun and I thought, whatever, I can see that it's right there. And whatever, I don't know, it uh, didn't hurt me in the way that, anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, they tell us not to look at the sun. They tell us don't go out in the sun. They tell us to slap on all of this. Now you realize, of course, that it's the sunscreen that you're putting on that's the problem that's causing the skin cancer, right? But nobody writes down the information. Uh, I figured out, based on doing a little experiment that took me a few hours, uh, that the sun should look absolutely massive when I look out on my back deck. Uh, the sun should not be a dot moving across the sky. Uh, we are being told that we are moving around the sun, so we should be able to observe us moving. But you know what? These are things. you got to write it down. Write it down. Things are not the way, you know, they say this is what's happening, but that's not what we witness. We have to write that down so we can sit and think to ourselves, well, things ought to be appearing the way we're told they are, because in every other instance, things appear. If I tell my wife that I'm going to leave and, and, and drive my truck to the, to the station and, and fill it up with diesel, uh, I can then go and do that and, and prove it and it's verifiable and, and uh, somebody can watch me do that. Somebody can watch me drive, put diesel in my truck. They tell us that we move around the sun, yet we observe the sun to be moving around us. You have to write this kind of stuff down. You know, here's, here's a good one. So here's, here's your pH. So here's the pH of, say, a car battery. So a pH of 1, here's a pH of 7.0, and then you go, so this is acidic, and this is basic. Human being should be, you know, right in around there somewhere. And then, if you start thinking about pop and coffee and all the garbage that they tell us it's okay to eat, you know, if you realize that the pH of a human being should be up here somewhere, and what we're putting into our bodies, the pH is actually down here. This is, this is actually, this is why we're sick. This is, this is why there's cancer. We don't need people out running around in pink shirts. Otto Warburg told us how to deal with cancer back in 1930. Right? Maybe if we wrote this down and saw, look at this difference. Look at that. 
from a pH of around 6.7 down to a pH of 2. The reason that we're sick is because our bodies are acidic. There's no oxygen in them. We're not getting exercise. What about vaccines? Have you ever... Oh, you can't hardly see that, sorry. Anyways, have you ever gone and read research? You know, if you go back into like the 1970s, go back and compare the things happening in the 70s compared to the things in 2020 or 2019. Take a full year of research if you want. But when you start looking at back now, you can't go. I heard uh, on social media that uh, you're now not allowed to talk about uh, what's happening with vaccinations on Pinterest and a few other uh, social media sites. Now, of course, you have to understand uh, this is loss of freedom of speech now, right? So, so now our freedoms are, are completely on the way out the door, but... If you take vaccinations, the number of, of children who got sick, the number of adults who got sick, the number of uh, people who ended up with autism back in the 70s, and compare that to something current, you'll see that numbers have gone from, you know, like one in tens of thousands to one in 500. People are getting sick because of being vaccinated. People are being hurt. And if you start writing this out, you'll have no choice but to end up learning about your immune system and how it works. You'll end up understanding that uh, no human being should ever be vaccinated. Uh, what they're doing is unbelievable and... You need to have the courage to question what they're doing. People are going to stop you because people are scared. And people are going to come up with some of the wildest justifications that you've ever heard for why things are the way they are and why they should be the way they are and things should not be the way they are. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. There is no good reason for war, I don't care what your religion is, I don't care what the color of your skin is, we are all in this together. And there is no reason for all of this hate and all of this violence. It's been taught to us, it goes against our nature, and until more people question what's going on, uh... You know what? This is just going to get worse. It's scary. It's very scary to question the world around you. And this is the hardest thing probably that you will ever do because it's what we're taught. We're taught in school. You know, I am a father to two boys and a stepfather to two boys. And I just, I can't believe after going through school myself and then watching them go through school, where are the rest of the parents? Where are the people my age? Where are the people my age who had similar experiences growing up? We watched the same stuff on the news. We watched the same events happen. Where are the people my age protecting their children, questioning? Because that's why I'm doing this, of course, is because I love my children, all four of them. And I do this because I, I want to protect them from what has started. By questioning and changing the way I behave and the way I treat other people is making a difference. And if everybody was to start questioning, 
And if everybody was to realize that it doesn't matter what color your skin is or what religion you are, if everybody was to realize that it doesn't matter what political beliefs you have or what other ideology you have, we're all in this together. And if we don't make this work, we're going to be done. And you can already see that we're on our way. So I know it's hard, but please keep questioning. Uh, I did some other videos uh, about questioning and whether they help or not, but they're back there. So uh, this one, of course, uh, is more geared to how to start questioning. So biggest thing is write it down. Let me see if I missed anything. Sorry that I kept you for so long. Yeah. You know what? Don't believe anything until you research it yourself. Uh, and certainly... Uh, don't even listen to anything that I say. If I say something on this channel that I don't back up with, research. It's probably because it's in another video. But if I say something on this channel that I do not back up with research, then please go research it yourself and find out the truth for yourself. That is the only way you're ever going to make sense of any of this. Anyways, uh, if you're questioning, good for you carry on. Anyways, have a great weekend. Peace out!